Welcome to Portons Park. We're here to give you a very special look around the brand new Peppa Pig World. Before we take a tour of the new land, let's take a look back at how it all became a reality. Portons is a family park not far from Southampton, home to rides such as Cobra and Edge, and is known for being aimed as being a family fun day out. For 2011, Portons were looking for another way to attract that family audience to the park. They'd already been running Peppa Pig meet and greets in the park and decided that the brand should be built even bigger. And then they came up with the idea to build Peppa Pig's world. Well, we started um, with Peppa Pig about four years ago for our first meet and greet um, experience with guests. And it went so well, the, our relationship with E1, the license holders, mm -hmm. grew from there. And uh, we ran, I think, three Peppa Pig uh, meet and greets and that went very well for us and um, we decided that probably we need to do something a bit more permanent. So who came up with the concept first? So, so was it them that came to you and said, oh, I'll do a whole theme park area or was that all right? We thought we wanted to do something that was probably a, a, a little bit uh, more than just putting another attraction in, which we've done many of over the years, and um, we wanted something that had its own brand. And it's one of those uh, decisions and one of those discussions that just sort of came naturally between the two of us. But I guess it was probably Poltons that came up with the initial blueprint and then we went to E1 and they were very pleased to take it to the next stage. In the summer of 2010, the project began and foundations soon started to be laid. Okay, so here we are in Peppa Pig World. Let's take a look around, follow me. Okay, so as well as seven brand new rides, they've also got three fantastically themed play areas. Mr. Potato's Playground. I'm going to take you in there now. So true to the TV show, the whole area is based on the hills. You've got all tunnels and slides and things all set into these hills that the kids can enjoy. Also in these play areas, you've got the swings and roundabouts, you see all normal playgrounds. You've also got all kind of interactive fun elements there. All the things that the kids love to play with. I want to have a go. Hello, Mum. <laughs> and then over just behind me, you've got the Muddy Puddles water play area. How fun is that? An important tip for you here guys, make sure you check the notice board for the appearance time so you can actually get to see Peppa Pig yourself. Okay, and just over here we have the Windy Castle ride, which is a UK first and it's actually the tallest ride in the area, standing at an impressive 44 foot. Do you want to have a go? Because I do. Now it's a very, very unusual kind of ride. Think of more a teacup mixed with a ferris wheel, mixed with an observation tower all at once, complete with spinning wheel. The attention to detail throughout the whole area is absolutely brilliant. It's like you're walking around the actual TV show. The TV show has really come to light, so the kids will recognise and identify with absolutely everything here. From all the flowers and the hills that I mentioned earlier, even right down to the music that they've got playing throughout the whole area is direct from the show. So the kids are going to love it loads. Continuing the massive list of rides that they've opened up here, we've got Miss Rabbit's helicopter flight. I'm gonna have to have a go with that as well. And you can join Miss Rabbit, pilot your own helicopter all over Peppa Pig, well, okay, not all over, but just pipe over Peppa Pig World on your very own helicopter rescue mission. Peppa Pig's balloon ride, probably one of the main features in the area. After all, it is Peppa Pig's ride, so I'm gonna do this one as well. So you can take a nice relaxing balloon ride. There's lots of nice and relaxing rides for the adults that will be great fun for the kids, this one included. And from up here, you can see all of Peppa Pig land. Nice 360 degree view. It's actually really, really pretty. I like it. 
great if I could get all the kids to do stuff like choreograph, like do a bit of acting and they all So here we are on Grandpa Pig's little train. Nice little amble through the countryside of Peppa Pig's world. Fill up with gas and go on to the car ride. And even on Daddy Pig's car ride, there is lots and lots of theming from the show. No matter where you turn, you feel like you're in one of the locations from the show. So any viewers, it's a game of spot the places. Don't see the attention to detail is that brilliant and that cartoon-like. Uh, there's even okay. wobbly posts holding all the buildings up. In fact, that one there is even better. And just behind Miss Rabbit's ice cream parlor, you can go on George's dinosaur adventure. And if him, like me, like him, like dinosaurs or dinosaurs, this is definitely a ride you need to get on. George's dinosaur adventure has some brilliant theming going on. You've got a journey through the nice gardens into the volcano rock landscape. And the attention to detail is just brilliant. And next up, we have Grandpa Pig's boat trip. And now, having a nice, cozy ride on the boat trip. It's very good. Okay, and we're now in Pepper's Magic Photo House. It's quite simple, you have a picture taken and you can become part of Pepper's world. I'm going to give it a go. Space Rock. Space Rocket, okay, that's cool. Stay tuned. All you do is pose in front of the green screen. Done! And there we have it. I'm now part of Pepper Pig's world. Okay, one of the main features of this area here is the great big building behind me there. That's how it's all landscaped to look like Pepper's landscape. With a fantastic grass roof. And it's actually one of the largest grass roofs in the country. It also houses the shop and another big giant play area for the kids. Even the interior of the shop is decked out to look like Peppa Pig's world with wobbly shelf edges and really bright colours. It's fantastic. As well as that, you can buy absolutely anything from cuddly toys to bedspreads or figurines. If you like shopping like me, you're going to spend a lot of money. It's great fun. So as well as seven rides, three great big play parks, there are also lots of other areas for you to look around at in the park. Like the library behind me, you also have the camper van, Madame Gazelle's school, Grandpa Pig's house, the paddling ducks, you can even go inside Peppa Pig's house. So make sure you spot them all. So that's Peppa Pig World. I'm absolutely exhausted. It's been a fantastic day out and I strongly suggest that all you boys and girls get down here and experience it yourselves. See you soon. Let's try it. It's been eight hours, so I really hate this sort of thing. <laughs> get off. <laughs> no, I don't like to. If I throw up, I'll aim it at you. At least you'll be on I'm video. <laughs> slow it down, slow it down. <laughs> now the ama- the, 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 Miss Rabbit's helicopter flight. I'm gonna have to have a go with that as well. The entrance is there. <laughs> I just walked towards the exit. <laughs> now the. Uh, now. Oh, this is tight. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And you keep rocking back with the forwards. That's my worry. I think I might throw up.